everyone. How are we doing today? Happy Tuesday. I hope y'all are doing well. It is May the 30th. Wow. Where is May went? Flown. I think May's flown by. We're full-fledged summer here in East Tennessee, except we that yesterday or Sunday was like 59, it was which so is unheard hard. of. Generally, we're in the almost 80s by now. Which this next week we're getting in like the high, the upper 80s. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna warm up. It's an absolutely stunning day today. There's not a cloud in the sky right now. It's 70. It is like chef's kiss house. Perfect. Gorgeous today. Um, we're making a project with Timu UV resin and some Timu pressed flowers, mm -hmm. dried flowers that Becca picked out. We're super excited. This is gonna be a really fun little craft. If you are brand new to the channel, welcome. My name is Rachel Langston. The voice you hear is Miss Becca Oaks, and we are both owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb. And it is our one and only mission to make you a well-rounded and confident crafter. And the absolute best way we can do that is through our membership. So if you have not already joined Oak and Lamb and you would like to, please use the coupon code 20 off. I was about to say off 20. Mm -hmm. That's not right. 20 off 20OFF for $20 off your yearly membership with us. Cut files, commercial use licensing, a Facebook group, free courses, free podcasts, more. We've got so much happening in that membership. We're always adding to it as well. So let me know if you have any questions about that, but get your membership. The link's down below. Becca's going to pop the link in the comments throughout the video. It's going to be super fun. I have a phone case from the Dollar Tree. This whole entire craft put together is going to be like less than $2. If you do all the math with what we're using out of the resin bottle, what we're using out of our flowers, this is going to be good and cheap. We're using a scrap piece of vinyl. I mean, you can't get much cheaper than this. You really can't. So, um, Cricut, we're using our Explore machine today. We have a mat with us, like I said, a scrap piece of vinyl. We're using just adhesive vinyl black today. You can use whatever you want. Um, you have to be careful on projects like this where it's going to be a bit busier with these flowers and such. You want to make sure you're going to be using a color that's going to really bounce off of all these colors and busy backgrounds and things like that. So we're going with regular black. Um, Okay, we have our UV light, UV resin from Timu. I did a comparison video on this last week. If you guys want to check it out, go see it. Uh, it kind of, it impressed me for Timu resin, it honestly did. So we don't trash things like this. We, we use them. So we're going to be using it today on this project. I have some gloves, a lighter. Now, you don't have to have a torch lighter. Becca brought this when we first moved here. We were using it for candles, and then we slowly like transition to using it for resin but the, you're good I like the torch lighter better just I because like it it's a little bit more of a punch with yeah, the Yeah, I agree. I mean, if you don't have one, I would get one. Yeah. I like a torch lighter. They're nice. Um so you're going to need it to pop bubbles in your resin before you cure it. So you can do that one of two ways. You can do that with a spray bottle with rubbing alcohol or a torch lighter. Now we're going to be using rubbing alcohol cuz I want to clean my um my base here i want to clean my <clears throat> phone case again we just got that from the dollar tree uh we have our dried flowers i'll show you guys these in the overhead camera a little bit later but becca picked out some stunning ones um i'm probably going to make her come up here and tell me where to put these flowers just like i did last time because she's exceptional at that and i'm not so there's that um i feel like reverse tweezers are going to be pretty much key for today's project uh, so if you don't have them, get them. If you say you don't like them, try them again. We've had a couple people say they didn't like them. Try them again. I promise you'll love them. Um, Cat, don't say anything poor, important for a bit, Rachel. Got to dry my hair. Have you missed me, Cat? I always miss you. Every also, day. You know I never say anything important, so you're not gonna miss much. That's not true. <laughs> I never, I never do. Uh, we're gonna be adding a little word on this. I chose the word bloom. I thought that'd be cute with these flowers. Um, put your name on there. Put your monogram on there. I, don't know. I, I also don't like that. the trend that is coming up and I didn't get anywhere. I would have suggested it. The beads that have the name, the letters on them that you make like bracelets and stuff out yes. of that are really popular because they're flat. They work really well on projects like this and people will spell out words with them uh, and then put resin over them. So that's also an option. Uh, now, we are going to be doing the classic 
measure your blank, pop it in design space. Uh, however, because I'm a little bit crazy with our blank here, you can see there's like a cutout where the camera goes. I'm actually going to measure below that mm -hmm. because I'm not going to, I'm not going to stretch this the entire length of the case. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to stretch it underneath that part where your camera goes. I'm not going to make it fit in that little bitty area. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to start from underneath the camera, which is four and a half inches. By three inches. So let me get my cord because I did not get that yet. Let me. I'll grab it for you. Oh, <laughs> my handy dandy assistant. I'm gonna do my job. Thank you. Beth. You're welcome. Thank you. You guys might be able to see the redheaded Barbie here in a bit. We'll see. Yeah. She's yeah. She's How was your old Memorial Day weekend? Let me know what you all did. Did you have fun? Um, did you just relax? What did you do? Come I ate some know. really good tacos. You did. At the Oaks house. Yeah. Did you have any of Wayne's ice cream that he did? No. No. I got my stomach. I was full. Yeah, I didn't eat any I tacos, was... but I did have the ice cream. He made banana pudding ice cream. It was my favorite ice cream he's ever made, ever. Ever. Well, now I feel like I've really missed that. We'll come over because I still have a ton in my freezer. Done. I'll yeah. be there. I'll be pecking on your door. Do it. Pecka. All the kids will be in their underwear. Beck will be in a robe. We'll fit right in. Undoubtedly. Yeah, just come in yours. Come in your moo-moo. In my moo-moo? Yeah. I'll say I don't have a robe because I'm way too hot-natured, but I'll come in my yeah. moo-moo. Yeah. Okay, over in design space. Here is our blank. All I did was grab a basic shape over here, and I chose the one that had rounded edges because, oh, my gosh, I'm yawning right now. <laughs> wow. Sorry, guys. Apologies. Sorry guys, 1030, that one slipped out. I got the one with the rounded edges because my phone case has rounded edges. So this is my phone case blank. Now again, this is actually six, six and something inches tall, but I wanted to measure underneath where the camera goes. So we ended up with three inches wide by 4.5 inches tall. So here is our beautiful little word. We've used a font to create. Now there's one thing I have to do with this. Now what is it? I have to unite or weld this together because I'm going to be cutting this out of uh, regular vinyl. Now, what happens if I don't do that? Well, if I go up here and change this to pin, you'll be able to see uh, these are individual letters from our text box. So this B is going to kind of protrude into that L. The L into the O, O, M, you can see these little tails here. I don't want that. So what I'll need to do is take all of this together and weld this or unite it. Now watch what happens. You see all these little tails? If I go up here and click unite, that all goes away. It turns into one beautiful word just like we want. So that was just for visualization here. We're gonna change that to a basic cut. <clears throat> I'm gonna change this color here. Why is that grayed out? Okay, there we go. I was just being fancy today. I'm gonna take this. Hold down my shift key to rotate that. Now I'm gonna fit this on here. Nice and pretty. And that looks pretty good. I, I, want, I want this to be decently small. I mean, excuse me, I want this to be decently large, wrong word, because again, I want, I want this to pop off really well with all these flowers. Now the flowers are gonna be already sealed with UV resin on our case. <clears throat> so we don't have to worry about um, it being like bumpy or anything, this will go on a nice smooth surface. So this looks good to me. So I'm gonna remove that, delete it, we don't need it. This is already welded, it's good to go. I have my Explore Series machine set. I'm gonna click Make It on the mat, of course. Remember this setting, we're not gonna use that card mat. Now we're gonna be using a scrap, so that's gonna fit perfect. Connect to my machine. We'll go ahead and get all the cutting out of the way so we don't have to worry about it. I'm trying to decide which area of this mat is st stickiest. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I know. It's a, she's the stickiest mat we got, though. No, she's not going to spell out the word bloom with the flowers. That would be amazing, but I don't think there's room on this with the size flowers that we have in order to do that. Also, um, I think you're funny if you think I have the patience for that as well. That's just not... <laughs> Jessa. Not <laughs> Jessa had some questions about billing and stuff, and she said that she had tried to email but didn't get a response, and she just looked back, and it was because she put hell at oakandlame.com. <laughs> I personally love that. Um, I don't think you're going to... Maybe try putting an O on there just so that we can respond to you, but I do love the hell at. 
Also, we have a friend who is joining us for the first time. Welcome. Meet the Swain. She says, it's my first live with you. I recently found your channel and I've been binging all of your videos and podcasts. You've helped me so much. We're oh so God. happy that you're here with us. I don't know how our podcasts have helped you. Me um, either. Yeah. Maybe they, some comic they're relief. They're fun to yeah. watch. That's for sure. Yeah. We really cut up a lot over there. This is not connecting. Um, I've already canceled it out. Canceled the cut. Canceled the you want to plug it in? It's plugged. Is is it plugged in the like all the is it did it come undone from the back of the machine? Let's try again. Oh. Sometimes. And you have exp I just repelled Explore so family much. and not air two, right? I'm only asking because we used it in the class and I don't know if you have the right one. Did you use your computer in that class? No. Okay. Family. Make it. Continue. Two gates. Air two, that's not right. How do I? Yeah, it's right. Blue tool. Blue tool off. Well, no, go back. Go back. Two. Go up to explore. Let me see that option again. Explore three. You had the, ex <laughs> yeah. But you did, if you didn't use your computer, why was yours changed? Oh, I wonder if it's because you're logged in to the account that I used and mine was changed. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look, it already, okay, cool, cool. Premium vinyl is the setting we're going to use. They want to know how the class went, so if you want to talk about that while we cut, you can. Yeah, so I wish, I wish we, we talked about it. I wish that we had more time to be able to teach. Yes. Just because it's such an overwhelming thing. For the time we had, I think, I think it went really well. We I got agree. one project completed. Uh, we were able to... We had an hour and 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. Unfortunately, none of the students brought... Um, anything but a phone. Anything but a phone. Some of the phones were dead, so they had to like, plug their phone up and leave it at the wall mm -hmm. so they didn't really get the training, which is all so sad. Yes. But all in all, I think it was great. They invited us back for a end of summer training yes. that I requested to be longer. And most of the students said they couldn't wait for us to be back, which yeah. is great. I think so, it went really well. Yeah. So we, we've, I wouldn't say learn. I mean, we've learned some things that we'd rather do next time, which is great. So we're going to prep differently and, um, I don't know. I loved every minute of it, though. I loved the questions that they asked. I love, excuse me, I love Cricket Beginner Curiosity. Same. I love all of that. They were excited. We had one guy that joined the class, which was really fun. He actually is a Cricket Joy user. Yes. Um, so that was fun. Two people. I think two other students, not him because he had a joy, but I think two other students had uh, silhouettes. Yep. And were yes. looking to get a cricket. One woman, guys, you're going to die. One woman um, had a cricket still in the box. Her son got it for her for something, a birthday for or a something. Birthday last year. Like August. Yeah. So we were like, you got, you got to get that out of the box. Yes. So that's exciting. All um, of the questions are about design space. Shocker. Because that's the hardest part about everything. But it actually brought up some interesting thoughts for us as educators. Because all of them were using a phone and I had my desktop version of design space out, it was a little difficult to teach them because places, things aren't in the same spot. So next time I'm going to bring a converter so I can use my phone as well. But how many of you all use a phone or a tablet to do design space? Let us know. Um, only because it's having us thinking maybe we need to create a kick, a cricket course that is completely done. Right. Yeah. In, on uh, yeah. On an iOS phone. device or, yeah. or tablet. Let us know. The we're, students that had Android phones, I was like, uh, oh, we were yeah, just completely lost. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, done. Now we get to do this. I'm going to unplug this. Okay. All right, am I in the middle, Becca? Is this like sitting uh, Yes, it is. Okay. It is. So look at all these gorgeous flowers. Look at this greenery, these little twigs up here. Love it. 
Okay, Aubrey uses her iPad. Jen says never. Jenny says, I solely use my phone. Sometimes iPad, never computer. Kathy says laptop. Kat said, I've used my phone for the joy while camping before. A bit more challenging. It is more challenging, Kat, for spe specifically if you're designing. I can't even imagine trying to do intricate designs on no. a phone. No. But this is good. This is really good feedback. Christina, I do sometimes, well, kind of a lot. Like if I'm crafting on the go, waiting room and idea strike. Okay, yeah, 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 I like that. Then I'll start on my phone and maybe finish when I get to my laptop. Okay, I like that. Pam uses an iPad. It looks like a lot of friends use the iPad and the, and the phone. That's good. That's what we wanted to know. I know. Anyway, all that to say, I really did enjoy the education and am without a doubt interested in doing more and offering it more. Me too. It's really fun. We, we got to meet some really fun ladies and, and a gentleman. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Um, and we're so comfortable doing it. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. It was really good. We Becca, we need like an oak and lamb mobile. You know, like just a like a yeah yeah got a like an RV on. or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> cool. I like it. <laughs> cool. I like it. Okay. Now this isn't gonna hold a lot of sh a stuff. No, especially because the flowers are larger. Some of them are larger. I use my laptop. I've tried to use my tablet and phone, and the app just doesn't have all the features that I can use on my laptop. Melissa, you're right. It absolutely does. Um, Beck, have you seen the new 3D designs for Tumblr wraps? Have you done any of these designs? No, Tammy, I don't even know what you're talking about. Send me, Tag me in something or send me an email. I'd love to see what you're talking about. Um... I use iOS because my friends use it and I always need to ask her a question. Okay. Only tweak a little bit on the phone, but mainly laptop. Okay. Um, yes, this is great input. I'm making thumbnails because I've slacked. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, <laughs> oops. You multitasker. You I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. This one isn't very inspiring. Isn't it funny? For those of you who design and do like graphics and things like this, I'm, I'm making the thumbnails for some YouTube videos. And sometimes I'll make them and I'm like, man, I'm so good at this. And other times I'm like, what is wrong with me? I have no inspiration like, I here. think that's normal for literally anything, though. That's true. That's true. You know, video editing. One day I'm like, man, that's like the best video. Let's add this and this and this and then yeah. the other videos. I'm like, is there an intro and outro? Perfect. <laughs> I think I've pulled out the bad I, words. I, I, I think we're not cussing in it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just depends. It just depends. Um, for those flock members who are here, have you all been able to watch the new? It's so funny. You all talk about how you love the the podcast, which is now member only. We have our podcast. And the last two podcasts that we've released, only like 40 of you all have watched. So I'm like... Do you really love it or not? We we don't. We would rather spend time doing stuff that more of you all are going to use and watch mm -hmm. if the podcast is not something that you're interested in. So we're all. I mean, I know several of you do watch it, but just feedback. Let's get your feedback. Um, who's well mannered, la ladies? Oh my yes, mom took mom and dad took the four oldest granddaughters shopping on Sunday and um, they got to pick out outfits and some fun toys and stuff like that. So at found once you know, it was at five below, they went to five below, they went to old Navy, they went to Marshall's, they went to Ross, they went to all the places and they chose crystals of all the places in the world to eat. <laughs> they chose, they chose crystals. crystals. Beck, I think it's hysterical. They chose crystals. I mean, I would still have heartburn from it. So you know that I like crystals. Now, I don't like it when I burp it for a year and a half. And you know, like, I've, as an adult, don't think I've ever eaten crystals without burping it up. It's, it's a rite of passage. And I even take a prescription strength, like, Prilosec. <laughs> so I don't know how you all do it and don't. How's this looking, Becca? Well, I haven't really paid attention, Rachel. I'm looking at your face right here on my computer, though. Am I beautiful? 
Oh, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That is looking good. I love all the greenery you've added to it. <sighs> Where are you going to put the word bloom? It's like over be, it all? Yeah. Okay. Here, here she is. Like that. Oh, Rachel, you could sell this. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I could. You know why? Because I'm a professional. I say that over everything now, and Wayne is like, please stop. What a did I professional? say? Professional? Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It could be something I've never done before. And he's like, and I'll say it. What was it the other day? Maybe it was mowing the yard or something, <laughs> you know, because I'm so and good at like, it. He's like, please don't. Just don't. Can you stop saying that? No. <laughs> no, because I am a professional, Wayne. <laughs> professional. Oh, this one's already open. That's handy. Kat said, I really enjoy the podcast. I think since they are member only, maybe some people don't go to the effort of finding them. Well, Kat, I mean, I even post them for you all in the group. Every Saturday. Every, every Saturday. I, I love doing them. I really do. I, it's fun. I mean, it's literally just talking with Rachel for 30, 45 minutes and... Sometimes longer. Sometimes longer. On what we're talking about. Um, How long winded we are. Really, I could I could pretty much talk about anything for any length of time, which is a blessing and a curse. Megan said, "I absolutely love it. I just forget that because they're member only. She relies heavily on YouTube notifications for videos. What if? Would it be helpful if we sent out an email?" Every Saturday. Every Saturday. And remind remind you lovely folks. Yeah, let me know. And Rachel, we could throw the link in it too. That would Absolutely be even more. Could. Yeah. Okay. This is why we talk to you all. Oh, this orange. Orange. He'd be pretty. Grizel said, I love these flowers. I bought one already made at JCPenney. Anna loves the flowers as well. Anna, these are from Timu. I think these were like a dollar forty-eight ish a pack, which is very reasonable when you look at Etsy sellers and even Hobby Lobby and things like that. Um, I feel like I'm done. I think you have all the colors. What do we think, Becca? You want to come tweak it? Uh uh. No. Uh uh. I like it. I think you did a fantastic job. Well, okay. Well, if Becca says no, then I don't need to tweak it. I don't need to tweak it. So what I'm going to do is very, 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 very carefully go through these intentionally. Actually, maybe I should take a picture of how this looks so I don't forget. I like that. That's a good idea. They are all excited about an email reminder. Good. We done. can do that. That'll be easy peasy. Okay, so I'm going to very, very intentionally glue some of these down. But Well, I'll say glue. I'm going to use UV resin. <laughs> It's basically stick. gluing it, it down. It is basically gluing them down. So it's all going to be wet for a quick second. And then I'm going to go through and um, hit this from the from the back, actually. Meet the Swain says, I have a resin kit and I've been scared to try it. So is yours a UV resin kit or like an AB resin kit? Let us know. We love resin around here. And if you're here long enough, you will also get the resin bug. Um, it is a bug. Grizel, you do need to work with resin this summer. Are you coming to Tennessee this summer? Anna, Anna mentioned that you had said something about maybe coming here and that you wanted to actually like go out to eat and do some fun stuff. And so, um, if you're just teasing us, then I might cry myself to sleep. Um, so you let me know. <laughs> We've already thought about places we could take you for dinner, like I'm good places. Both yeah. I'm broken. Okay, AB. Yeah, AB is great. We do love AB resin. Uh, Rachel uses it way more than I do. I'm such an impatient person that I love the UV because it's pretty much instant. Um, but AB is amazing, especially if you're doing larger projects. Come on, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, Grizel says I am planning. <laughs> Yay. Um, Rachel. Yes, ma'am. You know, because I'm over here doing this. What, what, where were the cheap Cricut blanks under $10? Where, were they from Amazon? Amazon. Sweet, thank you. Um, I'm way far behind. Generally, when we set out an organic video, I like to have the thumbnail finished beforehand. But my life, it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit crazy right now. For those of you who don't really follow along, we do have a little 16-month-old in our care. We're guardians of him. Um... And so last, last week, 
we had court and visitations and this appointment and that appointment. And then, you know, I have my children too. Last week was crazy. It was really crazy. You all can continue to pray for that situation. We still have like no answers and it's just lots of fun. And then on top of that, we, Wayne and I have, we knew that we wanted to be foster parents, but we thought maybe we would wait till the kids were older. Our two, our oldest two are adopted. Um, so we had been through the foster care training classes before Beckett was even born. Um, and then didn't open our house because he, he was born and we just didn't want to do it at the time. So anyway, this experience has just shown us that we can go ahead and do it now. Um, so we have started the foster training classes again and um want sammy if sammy is reunited with with his parents then we will take on another full-time kiddo if he stays with us more long term then we'll do some respite care which basically just means we would help out foster families who need like a break on the weekend or a temporary placement for a child before they can find a permanent placement uh, and some stuff like that. So we're really excited to, to jump in and do that. Um, I thought that you did, 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 did. Yes, Grizel, the resin is from Timu. She, Rachel did a comparison last week on two Timu resins and Rachel, Yes, ma'am. Not to give a spoiler alert, but you um, basically liked them about as much as the one of them as much as the J Diction, didn't you? I did. This one is the one I liked as much. As the, honestly, both of them were. I was pretty impressed with both of them. Yeah. Um. I I didn't I, I didn't see a problem with them. Unfortunately, when everything's broken down, J Diction's still cheaper. A little bit cheaper. Which is crazy to me. Yeah, I know. Which, now, you yeah. can get the Timu resin in smaller, like, smaller bottles. So, if it's something that you're not sure about, you can pay, like, I think a dollar something for a smaller bottle. But I can almost guarantee you, you're going to want a bigger bottle. A bigger one, yeah. yeah. Which, that's what we recommend for Jay Diction, too, is just buy the big one. You should do a UV resin class at the shop. Lisa, we would love to have an open studio with in-person classes. That is part of our dream. Um, if once, once we build and, and have the income to do that, um, that's one of our first dreams is to do in-person classes just because we love to teach so much. And, and in-person is a lot easier a lot of times. So spread the word. Spread the word to your crafty friends so that we can build and grow and do that for you all. Almost done. I got like two more. How do you feel like this is working? The door. Oh, it's, it's going great. Good. After I hit this with the light and get all this. Now, every little piece of everything is not stuck down. That's fine. That's normal. But the base of everything will be stuck down. It'll be much easier to place, place our the resin. Um, I got a Domino's mold too, but it's blue, so I don't think my UV resin will work. I want to try, but don't want to waste wow, too much resin. Awesome. Christina, if it is, yeah, that could be part of an issue. If it's like very thin and you're going to put nothing else in your resin, no pigment, no glitter, nothing like that, I could see that working. If I were you, Christina, I would probably just go ahead and hit it with AB resin. If you've got it, use that. Yeah. Okay. Now let's plug my light in and get this lit up just a little bit. What time is it? Okay. Eleven. I didn't even open all our packs back up. We still have. I got a ton of them. Yeah. I love, I love them. I just used resin for the first time on a project for my niece's graduation. I cut out a graduation cap with a laser, added her name with vinyl, sealed it with resin, and added pins on the back. Cute. Oh, I love multi-step projects like that. I bet it's adorable. I bet it's adorable, too. Yeah. I'm in Wisconsin and have a friend in Tennessee. We would definitely do a road trip and come to a class. It would be so fun. Hey, I, I'm all about that. Yeah. I think it would be really fun. Yes, Fallon. All right now you can plug it up and we'll talk about it when we're done okay i think i'm going to use a soft brush to brush on this 
some of this resin on these more delicate pieces. How do we, how do we think about that? What would we think about that? Personally, I would just douse the whole thing and use my finger. The problem is it's going to pour over the side. This doesn't have a massive lip on it. No, I think it would be like the keychains that I do. Gravity would do its job. So there. what I would do is put the majority of it in the center and then just use my finger to spread it out to the edge. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to hit it from the back, too. That's smart. That's smart. Do you. I mean, do whatever you want to do. We'll try that. If perfect Becca's way doesn't work. <laughs> I, you know. Then you've done it wrong. Then I'm, oh, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Who told it to me? Guys, look how janky. Is that a I say that word? Look how janky my nails You know, are. nasty nails are sort of in, I guess, if you're not going to have ombre nails. You and those ombre nails. Rachel is a hater on my ombre nails. I, I love them personally. I, I might actually get them again. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, that's like enough. It's all nice and stuck down. How cute. All right. That's so cute, Rachel. I might actually use this case. I'm sorry. Pressure, I'm sorry that it doesn't fit your phone. <laughs> Does it not? No. How come? It's for the 13 Pro Max. What's yours? Is it not fit my phone? I don't think so. It's in my phone. Do you have what is your phone? An 11. Maybe I did get it for your phone and not mine. I bought this. Oh, I thought that was the one Rachel you got bought from. This. I thought that was the one you got from my drawer. No. Oh. Okay, well, then you can have it. <laughs> I'm not going snooping around your drawer. You know I don't care if you do. Ah, these big old gloves for Becca's big old hands. I'm kidding. <laughs> I got them so that your sweaty hands would glide into them. <gasps> you take that back. Rachel, um, Kathy would love to know the difference in AB resin and UV resin. Great question, Kathy. So, UV resin uses UV light in order to cure it, whereas AB part resin or epoxy has to use good old time. Time is what cures that resin. You mix AB resin together. There's two different two parts, parts yep. to the resin. You mix it together, and that's what activates it to start curing. Both of them are self-leveling. Both of them are dry clear. Both of them are great if you get a good brand. Um, but UV resin is more expensive and it also, of course, works much, much faster. But we would only really recommend UV resin for smaller projects that use a smaller quantity of resin. Right. Because it is so much more expensive. And just to be honest, if you don't have a nice sunny day, which I might go through this in the sun. I can do if it. If you don't have a nice sunny day, sometimes you're sitting here for a while trying to get this to cure. And it can be a little bit of a pain. So, but all in all, UV resin is, uh, it's been a lifesaver. We, we love it. We only used, well, we, again, I didn't use it because Rachel did. I was scared of it, honestly. Uh, only used AB resin for a while. And then Shay got us on UV resin, which I miss Shay so much. Oh, my goodness. She had to, her schedule changed again, and we don't get to be with her live anymore. Um Anyway, she got us on UV resin, and I have not looked back since. I've loved it. Going in with a popsicle stick. Do it, Rachel. My big old fingers. Um, let's see here. Again, it is self-leveling. You're going to have to help it out a little if you don't use a ton of resin. For the most part, though, it'll do its job. Gotta add just a just a smidge more right here. Oh yes, um, if you live in Florida, UV resin is definitely for you. It is Florida is perfect for that. Now don't stick. I mean, it, it'll cure pretty quick, but like don't stick it under like a tree or something like that. Try to just have it in you know some open air. Also, straight um, in the sun. We it'll, kind of learned the hard way. I put mine on like a poster board in the grass but we have little tiny I mean I don't know if it's everywhere but here in East Tennessee you have little bitty bugs and things like that that are in the grass that fly around and sometimes it will get stuck in there before it cures so also don't take your project outside unless you are ready for it to start curing because that's another mistake we've made true oh well, we'll, we'll craft outside don't know can't <laughs> do that start curing cannot do that okay I'm gonna hit this carefully do you mean to take it outside 
Do what? You want me to take it outside? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to hit this carefully with a torch, but you want to do this torch thing lightly because you don't want to burn any of your flowers that are under here. It's so pretty, but I know you won't use it because it doesn't you have. You can use it. I'm not going to use it. No, it won't fit my phone. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Do you have resin here? No, you can like okay. grip it from the side or whatever. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Uh -huh. To clean up my workstation. Now we're going to be adding our vinyl and then another layer. Of, uh, now super thin. The next layer of resin is going to be paper thin. All we're doing is going to seal up that vinyl with that last round. Don't tell Beck I'm throwing my scrap away. Nobody rat me out. Nobody rat me out. It's really easy to clean UV resin or AV part resin before it's cured. You can just spray rubbing alcohol and clean it up. Is Becca hiking to North Carolina to take that? Is she back yet? He said, yes, she is. What is she doing out there? <laughs> Bless her heart. Okay, so that's done. We have our sticker ready to go. I'll go ahead and take it off the... But I keep feeling... I guess I have spilled that. So, oh, it's on the glove. No wonder. Like, why do I keep feeling UV resin when I've cleaned it up? Get another glove. You can smooth UV resin out with a brush and things like that, like I was going to do. But honestly, the best way to do it is with your finger. That way you can feel how much you have on there. You can feel the layers and see if your flowers are good and covered or not. We're going to take our tea towel here. I'll go ahead and remove the backing. I can tell it cut through a little, so the blade is kind of new on there. Beautiful. Bloom. Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> Cut off the excess here. Where is it going? All right. So Becca has a case in the drawer. Why don't you just make her one like that and we can keep chit chatting? Listen. Listen. That was quick. I think it's a microphone. No, I'm kidding. I had one in my drawer. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. I wonder if I accidentally took it home. Is this it? Huh? That, it's finished. No, is this it? Like, is this the case that was in your drawer? Is it? it Maybe. I don't know. I think I think it might be at home. Yeah. I'm going to take some flowers home and make one. Do it. So this is done. What were you out there for, like, 30 seconds? I don't it, Maybe a minute. Yeah. It was so quick. I thought you were going to leave it out there for a while, and I kept, I asked them if you were, like, Digging to North Carolina or something to go? I don't know. You know, it's not uncommon for me just to talk to people out there either. Okay. Let's put our decal on. Becca. What? This direction, right? Um. Yeah. This way? Other way. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Just personal preference. I'm chance fancy here. Sorry, guys. I got to be over here. Sing this song. Look at my roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. Reba. Yeah. 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 You, you sing. You're doing. I do look like Reba. You. It's the spitting image. Spitting image. Spitting image. I don't quite Reba. have the accent though. I mean, I'm close, but I don't quite have it. You'll get there. I don't really want to get there. I don't think. You don't. No. 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 Not with the accent. No. I've worked really hard not to have a super country accent. Do I? I have heard worse, Rachel. Thank you. I have heard. I have That's heard all worse. I need to know. Yes. That's all I need to know. Okay. Do you all want to hear what I just heard from my children? I did. I wasn't paying attention. I heard that too. What did I hear, Beckett? What? Come here. Come here. I heard Chad. Yeah, I heard Fallon say, Beckett, quit eating your finger. That's <laughs> disgusting. Stupendous. Hey, I brought you snacks, so you don't need to eat that. Gonna add a little okay. bit. Yes, Grizel, there are so many different flower options on Timu. It's almost overwhelming. I think which is why I bought like I probably spent twenty five dollars on the dried flowers. flowers, but I 
Oh yeah, we definitely have Southern accents. I think Rachel's is a little stronger than mine, but I have friends who, I mean, wow. When Tanner took me to Salt Lake City years ago, I was like, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, please, and thank you, and they could not, they could not stop. Yeah. They'd say, I could just sit and hear you talk, and I'm like, dear. Sometimes I listen to the radio, the local radio stations, and I'm like, oh my word, do you all hear yourself? We're down at the car lot today, and we're going to have <laughs> us a good sale. If you want to come out, we're having a bake sale. You can get you some. We're going to support the Children's Miracle Network over here. <laughs> I'm like, do you hear yourself? I'm ready for you to take this out again, my lovely assistant. I will do that for you. Wait, wait, i got to hit it. Flame, flame this thing. Flame it. Flame this thing. That's cute, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You'd, all, you'd almost think I crafted for a living. You're a professional. Okay. Well, that's basically done. Becca didn't make me use my UV light very often. Like I said, it's just so much better to use natural sunlight. I left it out there this time so I didn't get accused of taking a walk again. Uh, no, I thought you were going like, to go to North Carolina and take it. Like, that's how yeah. far. Was I out there way too long? Did it stress you out? No. no? Okay. She got kidnapped. I mean, yeah. everyone wants a red-headed Barbie. Yeah. Hello, guys. Now I feel the need to buy flowers from Timu and make one of these. Kat, I'm making one and I'll be using it. And I just got a really cute leather case, but I'm going to switch it over. Um, oh. Becca, do you think we'll get it this time do you remember do you guys remember what, what live was it do you remember the live that we had i think we were making a tumbler it was a tumbler and we made the entire craft and put it outside to cure in the sun and then we said like all of our goodbyes and the whole spiel about the membership and then just quit the live and didn't even show you the finished product the i'm gonna remember this time <laughs> we didn't even show you guys it was hysterical i'm gonna mute myself because i got to take this phone call really okay. quickly yeah. sorry about it yeah go ahead step outside whatever you need to do so, <clears throat> let's talk bad about Becca while she's down here. Um, is the spray just alcohol or alcohol mixed with water? Let me see. It's just alcohol. I think it's like 91% isopropyl alcohol. Use whatever you got, whatever Walmart sells. Um, I do like the mister bottle versus like a spray bottle. That was a quick call. Well, it's – good grief. I told Rachel. Um, Beckett is on Concerta because he has ADHD. And over the camp trip, he ran out of it. And it's a controlled drug where you have to – like, it's such a pain in the butt how you have to refill it. And so we waited till we got back to do that, which left him without it for one day. Big deal, right? Well, come to find out, his doctor's office only called it in for one month. They were supposed to call it in for three so I called them to get him to call it in. Well, his doctor was out until this Wednesday, and the nurse practitioner that was filling in for him can't call it in because you have to be an, an MD to do it. So I called another location. There's multiple locations to have one of their MDs fill it, and they like opened up some case to do that. Never heard anything about it. So I finally just texted his pediatrician, who is a friend, a really close friend, has been for years, and said, I'm so sorry. I really tried everything in the world to not bug you while you were off, but can you call this in? He's like, yeah, no problem. So we did it. Anyway, that was a pharmacy. I was just making sure that there was nothing wrong. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Denise, I was allowed because I was whispering. Yes. I was talking really low. Yes. She was being considerate. I was trying to be considerate about back on the phone. I talk really loud normally. You guys know this. Um... Can you use those dried flowers on cards? Did you yeah, already answer that? Yeah. Yeah, you could. What I would do, what I would do for cards, honestly, is get a spray adhesive like Loctite, flip the flowers over, give them a hit of that Loctite, and then like press them on the card. Because you're, I don't really know how else you would stick them on the card super well. Plus, also, they're very delicate. I mean, you, so you could, you could hit them with some craft glue on the back. That's, yeah. And then put like a clear. Like almost like the cover of the yeah. mat. Do something like that on the front of the card. You can do that. But I like where you're going with that lock tight. Yeah. You gotta be careful with any liquid glue like the spillage. Oh, 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 I have an idea. What's your idea? The Mod Podge dimensional. Yes. 
we're gonna do we're something. using that on Thursday. You could definitely put that on there and put it on a card. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe my project that's for Thursday project just changed. Idea. It may have just changed. If you guys haven't used that yet, that's what we're using. I love that. Yeah. I'm getting your phone case now. Perfect. I'm sure it's going to be stupendous. But I'm trying to see if you could hear it like any heavy breathing in my microphone while I was out there. <laughs> Rachel, relax is Rachel, what Bex well, said. Buddy, I'm relaxed. Yeah. You'll be fine. That's so cute. That's... That's adorable. It's adorable. Adorable. Let me show him an overhead. Look how cute. Hello. Pop it on your phone. Can you pop it on your phone? Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yes, Lisa. My uh, aunt Lisa actually texted me this weekend and asked if I'd ever use it. And I was like, no, I didn't even know what it was. So I looked it up. I'm really excited. It's like a good alternative for resin. Rachel, you can't even see that it my says phone bloom. Would say a different color. No. Huh? My, I, the I don't dark think. Phone. I don't think it'll fit. Ooh, ooh. Your phone's the same color as mine. No, mine's blue. How is it? Can you can you see it? I think you. I, I think that looks cute. It's it's adorable. It's adorable. White would have been pretty. Cute. Yeah, it would have been. Popped. I didn't think about my phone color. See, you take that off. I'm skirt. Okay. I'll keep my boyish. Horrible phone case. We both have boyish. <laughs> we do. It's well, because our hands are basically mechanic hands by the end of oh, stain, gosh. stain and paint and hair color. Now, uh, Becca warned me when I went to get my nails done this last time. I said, Becca, I just don't like how thick dip powder is. I don't like it. Which that's all I've had yeah. the last two years when I got my nails done. And I'm like, I'm going back to my roots. I'm going to get a shellac, which is like a gel. Yeah. And um, I'm like, that's what I'm getting. Becca was like, it ain't going to last four or five days, Rachel. I was like, you don't know everything. As always, I was wrong. So I go and I get it done. And I'm like, ah, this is gorgeous. And it was. I can't wait. I'm going to get it done like this every time. Look, Becca, be jealous. So day two, they're chipping, they're peeling. And then they got so long, they were just breaking off. I had to cut them the other day so now where I've cut them it broke that seal so now they're just the water's getting under they're just peeling off honestly I've never been so ashamed of my nails like they look horrible how do you do painting your own nails I do okay but the, the thing only is reason it lasts I, one day well the only reason I'm asking is because Anna has a light a UV light and shellac like you I could do your own shellac I'd have to replace it like every four or five days. You would. You I, I'm so rough on my hands. That's a problem. Yeah. I wash them so often. I'm so rough on them. Charlie has a bath every night, so my hands are soaking in water. I mean. I inherited my mother's lovely rigid fingernails, and so I can't do shellac because it just peels right off within. Honestly, I think you got more wear out of yours than I would have. But I'm going to have to go back and do dip powder. I don't let, I, I think it's so thick, though. But it's the only thing that lasts any amount of time on me. When I was younger, I used to do acrylic. I don't love those. Once you cure UV resin and realize that you missed a spot with the resin, can you go back in with another layer of resin to fix it? Yes, you, you can. can always add. Yeah. yeah you can always One add. thing, but here's the thing that I will tell you. If I've noticed, I'm going to come over here and show you. If I notice that there's a spot like in the middle of it that's like kind of divoted out, I, my experience is that I can't put UV resin right there and just smooth it out. I have to put it there, smooth it out, and then put it over the entire the thing. thing. Otherwise, you're going to be able to see. Like, it doesn't yeah. self-level enough to not... Be noticeable yeah. right there. I but, agree. But yeah. The layers need to be full layers. If you're going to do any extra work, you just need to do it on the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of why on uh, tumblers we recommend, like two good thick coats all around and if there's any bumps like sand in between coats if you need to do that yeah uh, <clears throat> Grizel, that must be so nice she said shellac lasts two weeks now when i worked at sheer structure which was a salon and spa we would have ladies who would come in uh, like three weeks sometimes for shellac i'm like how are you doing this how how are you you're like a i don't even know they I, must, they I must like to say a around, wizard. They must walk around like this all day yeah. and not touch anything. I am so rough on my, and my feet. 
I well, got, but Griselle does things. That's I mean, like she'll. She, Griselle does. Yeah, that's why I don't. I don't, I don't know what's going Also, Griselle, I did see your comment about making cookies this weekend. I'm a bit jealous of whoever got those cookies. Um, she makes the best cookies. Oh my gosh, and they're so beautiful. They are. They're so beautiful. Griselle, do you know why Becca loves them? Because of the almond extract. Because of the pound and a half of almond extract that you. That was an exaggeration. Her cookies are absolutely delicious. They're perfection. But when you bite it and you taste that almond, that's what Be that's Becca's why mouth like waters over anything yeah. with almond extract. I also like them because a lot of times you get those really pretty cookies and they're like hard and or, they like yeah. break your tooth kind of oh, with the and icing. Are so good. Hers are so soft they're and so oh, good. they're so good. They're so good. I have a tumbler. I dropped and cracked the resin. If I put another coat of resin over it, will you be able to see the crack or will it fill in? You will be able to see the crack. I would sand it down. And then apply resin. Guys, I was walking into Becca's house. Got out of my car. Yeah. I have a brand new Stanley cup. Right now it's my obsession, and that's okay. And I, I dropped it. I had Charlie, and I, I dropped it, and it hit her driveway. And while it's fine, it still works and everything. I've, ch I've chipped it up and busted it up a little bit, and my heart, my heart broke. My heart Did broke. it really chip? It, like, the paint came off it a little bit, the bottom was dented, and then the, the top lip of the cup is like, you know how it looks like teeth marks because it how it hit the gravel, yeah. and I was like, oh, why? That is It sad. still works great, though. Let me tell you, nobody's perfect, not even a Stanley cup. That's sad. It's okay. I still love it. You guys know I'm a, I'm a cup snob. It has to be 40 ounces. I like a 40 ounce. It's got to have a straw, and it has to have a handle, and that Stanley meets all of my requirements. Someone asked where we got the UV light. Did you see that and answer that? Amazon. Yes. Link down below in the description yeah. if you would like to use it. It's a decent one. Don't ever get one that's battery powered. Ever, 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 ever. No, Don't do we it. We learned that the hard way. That was my fault. I bought Becca one that was battery powered. She was changing the batteries every 20 minutes. So definitely get one that you plug in. Also get a UV a UV LED light. If you already have UV resin, it will tell you on the bottle the voltage. Is it voltage or wattage? What am I thinking of? Wattage, I think. Thanks, Becca. Uh, it'll tell you what wattage to get. Usually like 10, 10-ish watts is what they'll recommend, like eight to 10 watts. Check it out, make sure you're getting the right light. If you don't have the right light, you're pretty much screwed whenever you go to make it. You'll be holding that bad boy there for 10 minutes. So if you don't have a good sunny day, Megan said, I ordered some Stanley dupes from Timu. They should be here this week. Megan, uh, Lisa Welch ordered one, and she loves it. It's a really pretty green color. She has loved her Timu dupe. Um, Christina, question. I made a couple of UV resin pens, and the part by the clicky piece, love that terminology, by the way, yes. on top doesn't seem to come out smooth. I've sanded and reapplied the UV resin, but it doesn't look smooth. Any ideas? You're going to have to sand down even further, unfortunately. Sand further than you think and then reapply. And you're going to have to reapply the resin on the entire pen because, like I mentioned, with... You'll be able to tell. You'll be able to tell, yeah. So you're going to need to sand, 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 sand down and then also sand the top layer of the entire pen off so that you can reapply. I hate to tell you that. Um, I bought a battery-powered baby swing for my son. LOL, talk about changing batteries like crazy. Lisa, I bet. Oh, my word. I bet. Are they the big D batteries, too? I, Charlie got a bouncer. One of you bought it for him. Yeah. And it took those big batteries, and it just, well, it's right here. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, we brought it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it it rocked a little bit. Charlie lived in that for a while. He lived in that. Sweet. Micah, yes. My, so my favorite cup before I got my Stanley was a Reduce brand cup. Reduce. It's on Amazon. Check it out. 40 ounces straw. It's gorgeous. They're about 20 bucks. And I found it at TJ Maxx the first time. And I was like, let me try this cup out. And that's what started my love for 40 ounce handled straw cups. That's that's what started my, my love affair with those. I have a flashlight and plan on using it just for the tack down. Yeah, you could do that, absolutely. Yeah, it would work for the tack down, Linda. It would work really well for mm -hmm. that because you only need it for like 30 seconds for yeah. the tack down. We were using it for, <laughs> for actually tumbler turners and, and, and just, you know, Sorry, well, first of all, guy. we had to hold it. How we had to hold it was interesting. Because it was just, like a flashlight. Yeah. So you're, yeah, yeah, it was awkward. It was awkward to hold. And then it would like stop and yeah, it's okay. We've learned. We learned so that you don't have to do that. Um, well, yes, God, that's the name of a reduce. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Oh, Craft is done. We've been chit-chatting. Let me know if you guys have anything you'd like to talk about, you'd like to discuss. Don't forget to grab the membership if you haven't already. 
20 off to zero OFF to get 20 bucks off your very first year of membership. Uh, you will not regret it. It's a really fun happening place over there at the Oak and Lamb uh, Hub, the Oak and Lamb HQ. You're going to love it. Click that link and get the membership. Also, thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and yeah. subscribe. We, we are so grateful for all the subscribers that we have. And if you enjoy us, click subscribe. Ring the bell so you can get notified when we post content. We post content several times a week. You'll love it. Why don't you guys go and make a real cheap phone case? This was super, super cheap. It was like $1.25 for the case. I'm making one today. Broken down with the UV resin and all that. It's even cheaper than that. We like good cheap crafts here. We do. But Thursday, we're going to be using that dimensional Mod Podge, and I'm pretty excited about it. Beck is pretty excited about it. Yeah, I'm really it's excited. It's going to be fun. So thank you guys so much for another great live. We will see you later on this week. Keep your eyes peeled for some great pre-recorded content, and we'll see you later.